This is what I found in a single drop of pond water. This here is a copepod. Copepod are found in an abundance around the world. Now they do look like insects, but they're actually crustaceans, so they're more related to shrimps and crabs. They have a single eye and are highly adaptable. They can survive extreme conditions, for example, extreme cold conditions or highly saline environments. There's over 20,000 known species of these, and they play a major role in stabilizing ecosystems as they eat a ton of phytoplankton and contribute massively to the carbon cycle. Next, we have a water flea. Water flea are also crustaceans. One thing that's immediately noticeable is that they have a translucent body, so we're actually able to see the organs inside of this organism. Here, we can see the movement of the intestinal tract of the flea. These organisms are exceptionally useful in toxicology lab experiments to study the effects of toxins and pollutants on aquatic organisms. This is because they're highly sensitive to environmental changes unlike the copepods. Next, we have nematodes. Nematodes are parasitic in nature, and they're also referred to as roundworms. They are, can be found inside plants, animals, soil, or even water. Luckily for us, most species do not affect humans. However, they still do spread diseases. They are important decomposers and they're involved in cycling of nutrients in many ecosystems, which helps improve soil health, which is good for supporting agriculture. Looking at them, they're usually highly active and are always moving wildly from side to side. Lastly, we have Vorticella. Vorticella are attached to substrates such as plants or rocks by a long stalk made of contractile fibers. Because of this, they're capable of rapid movements and contracting in a fraction of a second. Now it's so fast, it can contract faster than human muscle. Here's an example. They can contract to avoid predators or to capture food. And they also do have hair-like structures called cilia, which creates a vortex-like current to bring food into their mouth, or they use it to move. This vortex it creates gave it its name, Vorticella.